So this really is kind of the lens of board health and what that looks like. Um, how, what makes a, a healthy board um, a healthy board? How do you measure for board health? Are there evaluation and scorecards? Some organizations, for example, uh, send out letters individually to their board members at the end of every year, saying this is how many meetings you made, this is your do uh, donation contribution, your give or get, and those are sometimes self-evaluation scorecards individually, but then how as collectively are you rating yourself uh, as a board that's engaged? Uh, do you have good attendance or excellent attendance? Uh, do you have a culture of engagement? And how many hours per week, per month does that shape up to be? And it doesn't mean oftentimes that just a commitment of hours means progress, but it does mean that you have and you can see board engagement. A few things that happened during the onset of COVID last year, and Jerry and myself were working with some clients, and we recognized and we started advising them to start meeting more regular because this is a time that we need the collective wisdom of the group. This is a time where you can't just put it on the executive director, fund development staff and say, oh, we're in a crisis, we're in a pandemic. This is where we needed everybody at the table to roll up their sleeves and truly lean in. So we were having some boards meet weekly, not monthly, not quarterly, but weekly. Um, we try to uh, go from formal structure or formal order to more consensus view. Uh, so that we didn't have the encumbrance or the governance constraints limit us. Uh, we really said, look, this is kind of make or break for some vulnerable organizations. This is also a tough, unknown, charted, uncharted waters. Uh, and I think that really was uh, a time that we saw some amazing uh, boards come to action, leaning in and fully engaged. And they've kind of continued that uh, as we've seen. And they may have scaled back that they're not meeting weekly, but they're meeting monthly. And they've loved the structures we set up for them in terms of what the dialogue, what the communi communication and ownership of different functional roles. Uh, we suspended some uh, Robert's rules of orders because I think now we're going to a consensus view. And I think that is uh, where you wanna start being very innovative on what does your board culture, governance, even traditional chairperson and leadership look like in terms of shaping that board culture.